Hey guys, this is Kayla with Becky's Graphic Design in Nashville, Tennessee. Today we're going to talk about a InDesign script which creates labels for your placed images. And we're going to discuss the different features that come with this script. There are quite a few scripts out there that will label your graphics. Um, this one in particular I like because of the way in which it labels the graphics. Let me explain why I might want to use a script in this fashion. Oftentimes in the review process of a design, it may become difficult to reference which image you are talking about on the page. If I needed to make a change to this design, it might be easy enough for me to say, well, let's change out the bird photo for the photo of the dolphin. Okay, that's great. But what if we have two pictures of dolphins or two pictures of birds? Then you have to get more specific about the description of the image that you're describing. However, if we could label these images, the process becomes much easier because you can simply reference the file name of the image. Now, if you're not sure what a script is, go ahead and watch this video here where I talk about the installation and use of scripts. Scripts are basically additional functions added to InDesign by other people smarter than me that know how to program. No programming required on my part. All I have to do is utilize the code that they have written. So let's go ahead and open up our scripts panel under Window, Utilities, and scripts. This script is called label graphics underscore mod.jsx. I found this script here in a uh, blog post by David Blattner, and you can download this script here. Um, he goes on to say that Steve Wareham uh, rose to the challenge to create this script, so thanks, Steve. I will add the link to this blog post in the description. Now back to InDesign. What happens when we click label graphics.mod? This is the interface for this design. There's a couple of different options. We can create labels via the clipboard. Um, in my case, I prefer to use the file name as my descriptor unless they happen to be extremely long. Uh, the file path is going to include where also that file is located in your machine. Um, and then there is some metadata that you can pull from the image I would like to use file name. There's an offset. This is a useful feature as well. In addition, we can create a paragraph style and a background swatch for this label script, which is highly useful. Um, now, as we can see, I don't have any paragraph styles created for this document. So before I run this script, I wanna go ahead and make a paragraph style. I'm gonna click cancel and back out of here. Let me go ahead and create a paragraph style. I'm gonna call this image labels, and we're gonna go ahead, make this a nice, easy to read typeface, maybe in a bold. All right, that ought to work. I'm also gonna do a character style, or character color of white, and then, okay, so let's go ahead and launch our script now that we have a paragraph style created. We'll go back to our scripts panel and select label graphics mod. We are going to again choose our label type of file name. Uh, we'll leave the offset zero. We're gonna select our paragraph style of image labels. And remember I made the character color white, so I want to apply a background swatch of black. I'm gonna click okay. The script is gonna ask me if I would like to add captions to all images in the document. This is maybe a bit of a misleading term. Basically, the script is confirming, would you like to run this script? So if I click yes, the script will go ahead and do its thing. If I click no, it will cancel the script. So yes, we would like to add captions to all images in the document. All right, so here's one of my absolute favorite things about this script. The script creates a new layer called labels. Everything that we just did is separated in its own layer. So you can see here down below, if I deselect or un if I hide this layer, those labels are now out of the way. So this is excellent. It does not modify your document in any way because everything is separated on its own layer. This is great because well, let's say I decide I want to change what we've done here. I'm simply going to delete that layer and then 
we can start over. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the layer of labels. And then get rid of that. Now this time, let's, let's say I wanted to add some more offset to these on this go around. So let's go ahead and launch our script one more time. I'm going to utilize file name. Let's do an offset of three points use our labels um, style of image labels, and then apply that black swatch to the background. I'm gonna click OK, tell it to yes, run the script. And now we can see that the labels, as it calls them, are three pixels under the bottom of each of the pictures. Now, if you wanted to put these labels on top of the pictures, you could use a negative offset. If I had said negative three, it would have brought these labels partway on top of the pictures. And this is something that I have done before to keep things from floating off the edges. Um, but there are lots of different ways to utilize this script. And now when it's time for the uh, editing portion of this project, it is easy for us to simply come in here and reference the file name. I can copy this right out of here. And then um, we can swap it in for new pictures whenever we need. All right, everybody, I hope you found this helpful. If it was, please leave a like, leave a comment below. Those things really help us out. Let's YouTube know that we actually important and we matter to you. Go ahead and click on another video of ours as well. That seems to be another thing that YouTube is pushing. If we're important, you'll watch more than one video. All right, everybody, I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.